Hello, this is Andrew Perkins, and this is part 12 in creating a blog using the CakePHP framework. In this video, we're going to finish baking our blog application. In the last video, we baked our posts CRUD using the bake script. We can view all of our posts here. We can view an individual post, and we can edit that post and we can also delete that post. I'm not going to delete it though. Uh, we have these links here to list all of comments and to uh, create a new comment. And if you notice when you view a post, it'll list its related comments here below it and you can add a new comment there as well. Currently none of the comments part works yet because we have not baked our comments. So we're going to use the bake script to bake our comments for us. Here I am inside of my command line prompt. I'm already inside of the tutblog2 directory and I can run the cake bake script. And I'm going to enter an M here to bake a model. And we're going to bake a model for our comment. So I'll enter a 1. And it asks if we'd like to supply validation for our model. I'll say yes. And here it wants to set up validations for the ID field. I'm going to enter 28. We don't need validations for this one. And it wants to set up validations for our post it underscore ID field. I'll enter 28 again. This time it wants to set up validations for our name field. Uh, we could use any number of validations. These are all of them here that you can use and specify. Uh, but we're just going to use 19 to ensure that it's not empty. It asks if we'd like to enter any other validations for this field. We'll say no. And now it wants to enter validations for the content field. We'll use 19 again here to ensure that the content is not empty. And we'll state no for no additional validations. And now it wants to enter validations for the created date time field. We'll use 28 here. And we'll use 28 again for the modified date time field. We don't need any validations for those fields. So there we go, our validations are set up. We now need to define our model associations. In the last video, we, when we created our post model, we set up the model association stating that the post has many comments. This time around, we need to set up the association in the opposite direction, stating that a comment belongs to a post. So here we'll say yes, we want to define our model associations. And cake detects the appropriate association for us, saying that comment belongs to post. Enter a Y here to create that association. And it asks if we'd like to define additional associations, we'll say no. And it shows you what your model will look like. If it looks okay, enter a Y and we are going to say do not create tests so enter a no here and our model has been created we can now create our controller so enter a C here and we're creating a controller for comments so enter a 1 it asks if we'd like to build this controller interactively enter a Y for yes it asks if we'd like to use dynamic scaffolding enter an N for no it asks if we'd like to create some basic class methods. We're going to say yes. This will create our CRUD methods for us so that we can create, read, update, and delete uh, comments. It asks if we'd like to create methods for admin routing. We'll say no. It asks if we'd like additional helpers. We'll say no. It asks if we'd like any additional components. We'll say no. It asks if we'd like to use session flash messages. We'll say yes. And if your controller looks OK, enter a Y here. And say no, that you do not want any tests. And there we go, our controller has been created. We'll now create our views. Enter a V here. And we need to choose comments to create views for our comments. So enter a 1. And it asks if we'd like to build our views interactively. We'll say yes. It now asks if we'd like to create our CRUD views. 
These will generate the views for our create, read, update, and delete actions that were generated in our controller when we baked our controller just a minute ago. Remember, you should always create your model and controller first so that your views will have the proper associations built in with them. So we'll say yes here. We've already created our model and our controller. It asks if we'd like to create views for admin routing. We'll say no. And there we go. Our comments are now set up, so we should be able to add comments to our posts. So here we are viewing our fourth post. Let's click uh, to add a new comment here. As you can see, uh, it generates a nice interface for us and the form, and it's stating that we're going to add a new comment for the fourth post. But additionally, we could change that and go to our third post or our second post or the first post and add a comment to that instead. We'll keep it as fourth post. And let's test out our validations. Let's leave this empty. There we go. You see it will not let me submit an empty comment. Here's where uh, the bake script falls short, that you have to modify some things. It's not that big of a deal, but you do want to go into your model and change the message so that you have proper error messages here. Currently it's just using the not empty message. But I'll enter in my name and we'll say great post to enter a comment. We'll submit that. And here it lists all of our comments. Let's add another comment here. So we'll say new comment and we can choose to add a comment to let's say our first post. We'll say Andrew Perkins, another great post, and submit that. And we now have two posts here, so let's, I mean two comments here. So let's list all of our comments, I mean list all of our posts, and let's view the first post. And we can see that it's showing its related comment below there. We can edit our comments. a really great post. You can tell by the four exclamation points. So there we go. Uh, we can also delete comments, so let's try that out. We'll delete this one. And that's how you use CakePHP's bake script to uh, bake your applications. Uh, it's pretty simple to do once you get the hang of it, and it makes it very nice for getting an application up and running very quickly. If you can design your database properly from the beginning, Bake will do an awesome job of giving you a great place to start your application from so that you can modify it as you need. The last thing I want to do is take a quick look at what the application looks like inside of a text editor. So, pull this up. I'm using a new editor here called JEdit. Sorry, I switched it on you guys, but I'm just messing around with other, other editors. Let's refresh this. And as you can see, we do not have an app or a cake folder. Everything that was inside of the app folder is now right here in the root of the tupblog2 directory, and this application references our skeleton application that we set up a couple videos ago. So if we look in our controllers folder, it generated our comments and our post controller. Similarly, it generated a comment and post model. And in our views, we have the comments views and our posts views and we can edit these as we need. So that's how you use the bake script. I hope you found it helpful and hopefully you can use it on your own to jumpstart your KPHP applications. Uh, in the next video I'll show you how we can set up an RSS feed for our posts using KPHP.